In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to retry a test in Playwright. So when automation test case got failed, so we will set the configuration based on the configuration. It will number of times it, will, it is going to retry the same test for the execution. So let's see how to do this in the Playwright. So here I will navigate to the VS Code. And already we have the one test created, which is getting failed in the previous Playwright tutorial that is failed test.spec file. So let's run this test and we'll make sure that this automation test is getting failed. And then we will make the configuration changes and we will observe. So based on the configuration, whether it is retrying for the execution or not. And if you see here guys, so our test should get failed. So it will throw the results. Let's wait for a few seconds. And if you see here guys, actual string and expected strings are not matching. So that's the reason our test got failed. So our test is getting failed. So let's look at the report as well. And if you see the report, so our test is getting failed, right? And here you can see the all the error information and also steps and the screenshot and also you can see the trace information. Now, how you can set the configuration to retry the failed automation test. So you need to go to the playwright.config.js file and here you can see the different configuration inside this one. So we have the one flag called retries. So right now, the value is passed on to the pipeline. If you see here, already two is there. So the, whenever we are executing the Playwright automation test from the pipeline, so it is going to retry the two times when test is getting failed. But to run, that means to run the, rerun the failed test automatically, you need to pass the value over here. So right now I'm passing it as one. If my test got failed, so it will retry for only one time. So this particular configuration you need to set so that it will, it will, it is going to retry the fail test automatically. So I'm just saving it and closing it. So again, I'm going to rerun the test from the terminal. So here I will write npx followed by playwright and followed by test. And after that, simply I need to pass the spec file name. So we want to execute the failed test.spec.js. So that's the reason here I'll write failed test.spec.js. So it is going to run the only one test because that spec file has only one test. And if the test got failed, it is going to retry for only one time because we have given the configuration value as one for the auto retry. So first time it is got executed and our test got failed. It is going to retry the first time. So we, we have added only one. So that means it is going to retry the failed test only once. And if you see the output also here, that is the very first retry. So it is going to open the report as well. And if you see here, our test is getting failed. So this is the original run execution log details, error information, screenshot steps and traces. And there is another tab for this particular test. So here you can see the retry one. So these are the details for the test execution where it is for where it is got failed. What is the screenshot and what is the traces. So we have executed only one time after the test got failed, right? So if I add to here, so it is going to retry two times if my test got failed. So here I'll just press control C. So that's it. I will close this particular report and I will rerun the test once again. So this time, Two times retry will happen 
because the configuration value what we have added is 2 so this is the original test execution so this time our test got failed and first retry will happen here so retry number 1 So already execution is happening here that is the first retry and the second retry also will be triggered so based on the configuration value if you see here guys so retry number two and here we can see the results also that means the execution is happening And that's it guys and if you see here so our test is got failed and it has opened the report so this is the original execution results and this is the first retry and this is a second retry so this is how you can set the configuration value for the retry in playwright and this is how you can execute the failed test cases automatically in playwright